Okay, my dear students, today is our class on how to find different physical properties of fruits and vegetables. So, different physical properties like length, width, thickness, uh, particle density and bulk density, mass, volume. So, these are different properties that are related uh, with physical properties of different fruits and vegetables and today we will be discussing that how we can find the these uh, physical properties of fruits or vegetables so today we have a sample of dates with us so here you can see in this video that we will be finding the length of the dates by the help of a vernier caliper so this is how we can find the length of the dates then the width and the thickness We'll find width like this and then we'll, we, we will rotate it about 180 degree and then again find the thickness of the fruits. So these are the linear dimensions of the fruit. Length, width and thickness and we can find these values by the help of vernier caliper. Now we will find the <coughs> particle density or the true density of the fruits. So for this purpose, <coughs> we will weight the fruit by the help of a digital balance. And then after weight, we will put the fruit inside a cylinder. So before putting the fruit, we will measure the uh, volume of the cylinder and after putting the fruit or vegetable in the cylinder, we will again measure the volume. So the difference will be the volume replaced and this method is called water replacement method. By this method, we find the volume of uh, different fruits and vegetables and other products. Let's see again. It's like this before. We will uh, fill the cylinder up to a certain level. For example, it is now on 25 ml. And if we put, we will put that like this. And again, we will measure. So it is now on 36 or 37 ml. So the difference will be recorded as the volume replaced by the fruit okay now we will find the true density so the formula of the density is rho is equal to mass per unit volume so mass of the fruit is 11.2 gram while volume replaced was 12 ml so the density will be mass per unit volume so it will give us 0 0.94 gram per ml or gram per centimeter cube so this is how we can find the uh, density of the fruit and vegetable now we will find the bulk density for bulk density we will measure the cylinder uh, sorry the beaker first then we will fill it up to the top the volume of the beaker is uh, 300 ml and we will fill it up to the top and then wet it again so the difference in the weights will be the weight of the dates see like this it is now 22 So we will wait it once again and record the volume 22 again. Now we will find the bulk density. So what is the bulk density? It is again mass per unit volume. So mass will be recorded and also volume was 300. So the mass is 173 divided by 300. So we will get <coughs> 
zero point five seven. It is the bulk density of the dates zero point five seven. Now we will subtract the bulk density from the true density, so the difference will be the porosity or the pores present inside the beaker. It will give us uh, zero point three six. Or thirty six point three percent pores. We will multiply hundred with this to get the percent. So we will get thirty six point three percent of pores. What does it means? What is porosity? For example, if you pack the dates in a uh, certain packing, so thirty six point three percent of the space will remain empty while the rest will be occupied by the dates. This is called bulk density. And the porosity, and this is the significance. Where we put the bulk density, it its significance is in packing. That how much space will remain empty if we pack a certain fruit and vegetable inside the pack. Okay, thank you.